Are you checking Facebook or YouTube? I'm trying to check both. I'll check one. Tell me which one you're doing. I'm going to do Facebook because sometimes YouTube doesn't let me do. Um, not yet. like for so long and every time still not working come on show me show me more it's in the mail Is it on YouTube? YouTube is working. Okay. That's good news. Let me try Facebook one more time. I don't know if it's because the time was set up at 5.30. For Facebook? Yeah. Let me try one more time. Okay, it really wait until 5.30 to let me get connected, I guess? Okay. It's just good to know. No, but it just stress people out. Why? Well, but not here, though. Not here in my... That's so weird. Can somebody talk to me if you see me? Your, if your Facebook works, if mine doesn't. working. Okay. Mute. Hi, Guo Jingting. How are you? Zao An. Hi, Sharon. Yes. Yes. Okay. Guess what? Today? <laughs> so, we used to broadcast on both YouTube and Facebook, right? Now, I'm challenging myself to do it also on Instagram and you know how I get distracted because I have ADHD so we'll see if I can manage to hi this is first time I'm getting on like oh shoot, Instagram um, 
before. How do I do this? Whoops. I, this. I have no. to redo all this. Because you um, try to uh, allow that one. We're live, by the way. Okay. Okay, let's back to. Um... I don't even know what 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 it is now. Like, do I see the previous one or do I see what it is now? I don't know. And the lighting is weird. Are you using this camera right now? No, this one. Really? No. Yes. No. Or... Oh, sorry. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> my technical guy, technic just, just... My cameraman. Did you switch? Robin, did you switch back? To this. The center. It's the center one? Yes. Okay. Now we're back in business. Okay. Hi, people. Hi. Hi, Aston. Okay. I need to find myself on YouTube first so that I don't ignore people over there. Then what's the point of getting on live? Right? Okay. Yay. My sister's on. Okay, 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 hey everyone, we're on, we're back. We're back on, yes. Okay, today I wanna show you this, okay? Why do I get into this, uh, making this? Because the truth is, you know, the queen, or the queen, Elizabeth, right? She eats her scones with, um, hi! Um, she eats her scones with clotted cream and jam, right? And of course, we all want to do it the royalty way, right? Um, anyways, but then it's so hard to get clotted cream here. Well, nowadays in some, you know, uh, higher end supermarket, you can find clotted cream, uh, but then it's not as easy. And then as me, you know, I always want to try to make it myself. But then for clotted cream or Devonshire cream, it's, hi Smelly Paw, you're everywhere. <laughs> um, you're always, you're always, okay, you're always, uh, you, you need to find unpasteurized cream and you have to bake it under low temperature for about 12 to 24 hours. And then you get the part that is kind of the concentrated, the fattier cream on top and you will have the liquid, liquid kind of cream on, in the, on the bottom and then you take the top pot and that's your clotted cream. So it's more concentrated and it's fattier, so it's creamier, right? But in the US because you're, I mean because of the law and all that, so you, it's really hard to find unpasteurized cream. Okay, my husband now has like a whiteboard like this because I always forget to mention things that I want to mention. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so, but it's so hard to find un uh, unpasteurized cream here. So, you know, I was thinking about trying it and all that, but then it just never happened. Anyways, and then on Mother's Day, here's the thing, husband, you know, whenever you get me anything good, I never disappoint you, right, husband? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, he ordered something from Camp... Canless? Canless. Canless. It's like the best restaurant in Seattle. One of the best restaurants in Seattle. So she, hey Chris! Uh, she, um, uh, he, he ordered the package for the Mother's Day. Uh, and then there's this Devonshire cream to go with your uh, our scones, okay? And the Devonshire cream was really good. So that just motivated me, you know what, because for me, if I ate something good and I cannot have it again or or recreate it, it really bugs me. So I've been, you know, researching and I've been trying different kind of um, ingredients and recipes um, to try to recreate this Devonshire cream. 
this Devonshire cream because it's not just whipped cream. If you love whipped cream, you need to try this. You'll not go back, okay? And it's not even hard, any harder than making whipped cream, okay? It's, it's, it's full of flavor, okay? It's way better flavor, it's smoother, and it's just bring you to a Michelin star restaurant, basically. It's just like, oh, 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 you know, this is totally a different world. Why? Remember my cooking philosophy? Like, if you are using any produce, like tomatoes, you use the yellow tomato, heirloom tomatoes, or, well, vine ripe tomatoes, right? You use different kinds of tomatoes in one dish, even though it just called for tomatoes. But then that will give you depth of flavor, and then you combine all different kinds of, you know, uh, um, flavor profile so you create this compli complicated and depth of flavor that people are like what did you do it's nothing it's still tomatoes it's just because you use different kinds right and same thing here because it's cream right so I have to I, I combine three different kinds of dairy product to create this you know creamier and more depth of flavor it's just it, it's just so you, you you just have to come it's just more complicated okay when things are more complicated it's more interesting it's even like TV drama when it's complicated it draws you right when it's just so simple plain story who want to watch that right so this is the drama okay this is the whip the the whipped crane with drama <laughs> does that make sense at all <laughs> you can, okay okay my husband said okay Oh my god. So, let's make this, okay? This will just elevate, elevate your game, your whipped cream game, okay? It's just a fancy upgrade of a whipped cream, okay? And it brings, it gives you this clotted cream texture and feel to it, okay? So it's like the best thing ever the best thing ever it is pretty it, it's the best thing ever I, I actually personally think it's even better than a clotted cream because it's not just cream okay let me tell you what I do okay first thing we need we only need one two three uh, for the, the Devonshire cream we only need let's start the drama hi to I haven't seen you how are you um, yes so for this Devonshire cream you only need four four plus one ingredients okay I added a little uh, okay let's just say five ingredients five ingredients and first thing is of course the heavy cream right so we're gonna need heavy cream and what I use is mascarpone 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 <laughs> mascarpone huh? mascarpone mascarpone pony I mean how do I say it make it more romantic mascarpone <laughs> anyways you know what I'm talking about mascarpone mas Oh, how hard? Mascarpone. Ma mas mascarpone. No, mascarpone. Pony. But there's an R. Mascarpone? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Mascarpone. Mas mas yeah, mascarpone. Okay? So you, this is why I got it at QFC, so it's not hard to get at all. So it's a, it's a kind of cheese, okay? It's kind of like cream cheese, but it's smoother and it's... Um, more um it, the taste is smoother and it's more um subtle it's not like the cream cheese that is so strong but then i mean it's got another depth of flavor i, I like mascarpone cheese better and cream cheese make it a little too thick and clumpy clumpy so i use the uh, mascarpone cheese that's what i found is that this is my secret ingredient okay this is my discovery and then i want to give it a little more of the refreshing because you know when it's so creamy so cheesy it can be really heavy right but I want to lighten it up a little bit so I also use the plain Greek yogurt okay uh, and you want to sweeten it up and then you kind of want it to dissolve faster so I use powder sugar so that it will dissolve very fast in the whole mixture so it's powder sugar and my homemade vanilla extract you need to make your own. We need to next time, you know, before Christmas maybe, make our own because it's so easy and it's just so much better. I did this time, this one is the one with rum. I can just drink it like this. It's so good. Anyways, all right, back to the cream. 
All you need to do is whip it up, okay, whip the whipped cream up. But then here's one thing, okay? When you make your own, it's good because like today, if you wanna make it runnier, okay, uh, thinner, you can, it's all about how much you whip, you know, the level you whip and how um, thick it is. So like if you're making a fruit parfait kind of thing, you can just, you don't have to whip it as dense, as, you know, tough, uh, uh, as firm. So it's more runnier and it's easier. But then if you want to put it on top of the scones, you can whip it a little longer and then make it thicker. So it's more like a whipped butter kind of texture. So it's all up to you. So the first thing first, we're going to whip the whipped cream. Have a cup. Have a cup. Have a cup. Okay. You know, you can totally whip with your arm, okay? But then me, I'm using this. It doesn't make you less of a chef, okay? The result is the same. On. I love you guys too. Mwah. Oh, yes, mom. It's not just shen nai yo, it's gao ji ban, chao gao ji ban shen nai yo. Wait, what's wrong with my phone? Oh no. Oh no. whip it till a little softer than the soft peak because afterwards you have a chance to whip it up more and make it thicker and denser so right now we want to kind of under whip it so that you never over whip it in the end make sense anyway let's do it okay my hair looks yesterday I haven't had my hair cut for like one half years and I still I mean my hair is really hard to cut very thick coarse fuzzy hard you know like it's very and I have tons of hair I have too much hair okay the volume is crazy <laughs> and nobody can cut my hair right Except for this Vancouver uh, salon, and then also the one that in Taiwan that my that I go to for 25 years now. Jing Hui, she is like my go-to hair stylist, right? She's the only one who can manage my hair. Anyways, so I can't go to Vancouver. I can't go back to Taiwan. What am I gonna do? So she actually FaceTime with me and teach me how to cut my own hair. And the part that I can't reach, she teach my husband to cut it. Of course, it's not a full. Um, haircut but then it kind of helped me to thin it out and trim it a little bit so it's light enough <laughs> that's what I did yesterday okay let's take a look this is kind of like a little softer than a soft peak right I want to do a little bit more just a tiny bit more oh that was Jaden writing a message okay Jaden I love you a little bit more Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Look. Okay? But later on, you will, you will have a chance to thicken it up more. Okay, let me get a... Get a thing. Okay. So, now I put in the mascarpone cheese. How much? Five pounds. My brain with numbers never good, so I never remember how old I am, really. <laughs> Cause my brain was number no, don't remember. And you can put all of them in now. And the yogurt, three ounces. What kind of yogurt? Greek plain yogurt. You weren't listening. And 
two and a half tablespoon of powdered sugar. Okay. Well, you could put more, right? Depends just how sweet. Yeah, my I, I didn't make it super sweet. It's just kind of sweet enough. But then I don't want it to be super sweet. But if you want more, add more. Okay. Anyways, okay. And then we just keep whipping, keep whipping. On. It really thickens up. Yeah, it really thickens up already, right? All right, don't over mix it. Take a look at the thickness and all that and see if this is what you want. Mm. Oh God, <laughs> this is so good. You'll never go back to whipped cream, I'm telling you. Isn't it like as easy as making your whole own whipped cream? Just adding a couple more ingredients. Now, my homemade rum based vanilla extract. Just a quarter teaspoon to start with. Quick whip. The more you whip, the thicker it will get. Okay? But then for this food parte thing, I think this is good. Because today we're going to make food. food. <laughs> Are you? Fruit parfait. Oh my god. Today we're gonna make the fruit parfait, okay? So this is the right consistency for me. It can be even runnier actually, but this is good. But if you want to like go with the scone, keep whipping, okay? And then it will get thicker to whatever consistency you like. Now, do you, does it bother, bother you? This bothers me, I just wanna lick it. I can't look at it, I just wanna lick it. Oh God. I can't help it, okay. This is so refreshing. You know this mascarpone cheese got a little, kind of like cream cheese, the tartness a little bit, right? The tart flavor, right? And then the sweet, the cheesy flavor, and the cream. Oh my God. It's good. Okay, now let's assemble with some, because now it's the very season, right? And guess what? This will be perfect for 4th of July. It's red, blue, and white. Okay. Now, a little more. Strawberry. Let me just put this on. If you keep whipping for like a, I don't know, a minute or even less, you probably get it to uh, more, um, like a whipped butter kind of texture to it. We are actually really on three platform right now. Gosh. Hi, Errol. Oh, hi. no, you're not late. You're perfect. Okay, some of that. Oh, I forgot the mint again. I mean, when our gardener was uh, putting, uh, you know, growing some mint in our garden, I was like, I don't, I don't need mint. And then she said, oh, it's okay. It's, mint is kind of like a weed. They grow very well uh, on its own. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't, I don't really, you know, eat mint much. But now, I'm, I so appreciate that we have this wheat, weed-like mint all over our garden. It's just an easy touch up decoration kind of thing for any dessert you're gonna make. Is this okay? Or should I do more? No, it's fine. Oh, look at this. Okay, everybody, 4th of July, Memorial Day weekend, whatever. This, okay? Easy dessert. And it's so refreshing. And then this cream, you can just put it in a clean jar. Thank you, Elaine. Uh, you can just put it in a clean jar and then it will keep for about a week. So, this is perfect for potluck if you're going somewhere or if you, you know, have, you're hosting a party, you know, everybody's vaccinated, right? Party time is about to start and it's summer. This is perfect, okay? You can make it ahead of time. So, you know, whatever you need to do on that day, it doesn't take away the time of prepping and all that. 
and it's just nice to have in the fridge if you have like angel fruit cake you know mm, pancakes oh pancakes what else Oh, Jada, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. So anyway, so that's that's it. That's it. And then it's super simple, super easy. Uh, so it's just whipping up the whipped cream to under whip a little bit to your the desired consistency that you like and then add in some mascarpone cheese and some yogurt, powder sugar, and vanilla extract. The truth is, it, it depends on what you put on. If you have that, what's that called? The, the orange, uh, or, 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 so orange extract, almond extract, or that uh, orange liqueur thing. Sky is the limit, people. Okay? This is a total upgrade for your whipped cream. All right? I think that's it. Let me try it. Mm. I cannot. I mean, no matter what I say, you need to try it. This is so good. It's the perfect creaminess, and it's got this different flavor profile in there, so it's not boring. Okay? It's super drama. Mmm. Quinn, you need to come over. I'll make it for you. Oh, and it's a super perfect balance for the fruit. It got that tiny little sweetness in there. Mmm. So good. It's summertime. It's perfect to make this for your 4th of July. Okay, your menu one item done. All right. All right. All right. Like. Okay, thank you, Beverly. Thank you, Quinn. Thank you, Lane. What? Oh, yeah. Now you tell me. Share this video, please. And like and follow and subscribe. <laughs> thank you. Actually, I need to say it at the beginning of the, the video so people can share this video. And now it's too late. <laughs> Still, not too late. Not too late. Still share, okay? All right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.